What's dangerous about it? It's a distribution line? No. No, it's a transmission line at super high pressure. There's only four or five of them in Virginia. They say gas pipes are everywhere. There are everywhere, but they're distribution pipes. They're smaller pipes. They're pipes that run at 60 PSI, 150 PSI, maybe even 200 PSI. That's normal. That's what city needs. This is not gas for Norfolk. This is not gas for Berkeley. This is gas that's simply going through our city. And our community did not know about this. There were no public notices informing everybody about the whole story. There was no impact study. There was no safety study. Who here received a notice to go to a hearing and learn about this? No one. No one got that opportunity. There were no opportunities for stakeholders to participate. We are asking today for safety. That's our primary concern today. We're not trying to stop progress. We just want to be able to conduct our lives, do our business, and live in a community that is safe as it has been. We just want to be as safe as we have been from now on and not worry about it at night. Not worry about an accident with an excavator upsetting this pipeline. It's usually a third party uh, that causes the accident, upsets the pipeline. Here comes the gas. And because it's such a huge volume, because it's high pressure, it develops into a very big problem. The fireball can be a quarter mile big. Okay, Then the heat can extend for two miles. The over pressure, pressure that would knock a wall down, can be for a half a mile. Understand this, they'll say it's perfectly safe, it doesn't happen, it does happen. Go to YouTube, go to Wikipedia, look at these videos, it happens because accident happens, and you know what, there's nothing to protect this pipeline from third parties causing harm. 